It's finally time! La fuerza esta aquí! Yee! Hey y'all, it's Trey. Good to see you again. And wow, I am happy today. Let me tell ya. <laughs> because we have new music from Miss Christina Aguilera. Today's video is going to be a reaction to her newest collaboration with Osuna, uh, the song Santo, which comes from the EP La Fuerza, which is the first in a three-part follow-up to her Spanish language album Mi Reflejo. I really am living in the time of Christina Aguilera's second Spanish era. Wow. As Doja Cat said, what a time to be alive. Let's just get right into this, all right? Because I don't think I can wait any longer. So without further ado, let's dive right into this reaction video. First, I'm gonna listen to the song and then I'm gonna watch the music video. So let the music play. Mm, kind of sounds like a fade out from Bami's Muchachas. <laughs> Hey, I like that. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Hey. Tranquila, no me mide el tiempo. Perre, y gozate lo que tiene talento. Si tú fuera una mentira, lo como hace. Así como hace. You're going to do that again? Did he just name drop Selena? <laughs> Legends never die, truly. Hey, hey, hey. He got lost in the dark. Hey, that was what I needed. Yes! Let me tell you, the thing about the era before this, the liberation era, as much as I loved it, it was like, yes, Christina, she gave us an album, right? That was a journey, told a story. I loved that, but... It didn't have the bops I wanted to hear from Christina. But so far, La Fuerza is serving bops. So Nos Nada was, you know, the ballad because Christina's gotta have a ballad. But pa mis muchachas, and now Santo. This is what I've been wanting to hear from Christina for a while now. Ooh, ooh, oh, And it's in Spanish, yes. <laughs> Vocally, it just had all the good things that I like to hear from Christina. Osuna's verse was, Good, very, very good. Actually, I would, no, better than good. It had variety to it. You guys know that like, I like variety. I don't like for it to get stale or boring. I like for things to be constantly changing. It's not a static song, it's dynamic. It's moving all the time. And this song, it kept moving and moving and moving, yes. I need y'all to stream this. I need y'all to hype this up because this, this is my jam right now. This is my jam. Time for the music video now. Now, will the music video match the hype that I have in my head? You know, I want looks, I want a story, I want a concept. <sighs> Come on, let's just, let's get into it. Hmm. <laughs> Is that their names on a bottle of tequila? And ooh, that bottle, that bottle it looks like she's been drinking quite a bit of it. Ooh -hoo -hoo! Oh, what does that say? I can't quite read that first word. Compostela Films and Art presents Santo, chapter three. She's been calling these chapters. Ooh, Christina's being so dramatic. When Tami's Muchachas came out, she was like, chapter one of this journey. And now we're on Santo and she's like, chapter three. Write a novel next, why don't you, queen? Oh, wow, gorgeous. Mm. Wow. Wait, 
think this is giving me like kind of a dark version of Garden of Eden right now. Um, I love that her red hair is keeping her at the center of it all. Also this car, this car that she's leaning on, you know, it, this is the same car that has been in the previous two videos, I think. So we're, we're connecting dots. We're leaving a trail for the people to see. Yes, I love when they leave little things in there for the fans. Keep it coming. Hey. Santo salvame. Okay, come on, Osuna. Yes. Oh. oh, snap. I love this. Okay, so I'm thinking like Christina is Eve and Osuna is Adam. And they've got like their corresponding dancer squads, right? Christina's were all in like these blacks. And oh man, I love that one that had like the cross pattern for his top. And then Osuna has these ladies in red. The red almost to be like the forbidden fruit, the color of the forbidden fruit. It's, you've got red on Christina's hair and then Osuna had to have some red too. So they put it on the dancers and oh, it's spicy. Yes. Ah. Oh, wait, their eyes are glowing. Those dancers' eyes are glowing. Oh, that's creepy. Mm. All of this movement is really creepy. What they're doing is so creative. It's really going in with the whole aesthetic. I'm loving it. But, ooh, for the love of all that is holy, Santo Salvame from whatever that creepy eye thing just was. Ah, they're still doing it. Mm. Who is this? Oh. Wait, show that man again. Show that man again. Mm -hmm. Ooh, girl. Okay. Things, thoughts that I have. One, I already loved Christina with the red hair. You add the red dress, honey. Now, this man, this man in this black suit that we have here, is he the same man from the previous two videos? And the reason I say that is because the first shot we have of him are his hands dripping with water. And when we last left our boy, he was dead, floating in a pool. Did he come back to life? Is this the afterlife? Or has some like spell been cast to bring him back from the dead. There's a lot going on here, but man, do I love a story, yes. Mm. Come on. Ooh. It is, it's him. Yo, oh, wait, the way she's backing away from him, like, mm, I did something bad, I did something wrong, and he's looking at her like, you did this to me. Oh, snap, snap! Mm. Whoa. Mm. Oh, those eyes. Yo! Oh my god. Hats off to the wardrobe, the hair, the makeup people. Every part of the costume and makeup design aspect of this, I'm obsessed. Obsessed! One, Osuna looks fly in every outfit he has, and it matches the colors of the background so well. I love it. Um, two, the dancers in the forest, okay? These little, like, woodland fairies or whatever they are. Every one, every costume is so unique. They didn't just put them all in the same outfit, you know? They've all got some of their own touches to them and they're able to move and dance in them. So, mm, hats off, I have to appreciate my wardrobe people and it's just creating, 
chills up and down my spine. Did this boy that she drowned, is he sending the nature spirits after her? And she's like, you know, torn about her decision. Is that what's going on here? She's in the middle of all of them. What an ominous ending, like there's a, there's a storm coming. And what a great way to end the visual that's kind of accompanying the release of the EP, like, oh, there's more, there's more stuff coming. This is just the beginning. That's what I'm getting from this. <laughs> Let's discuss. So those dancers dressed like nature spirits, I guess they were, um, I really felt like, like Christina was asking to be saved from them. Like, they, are they supposed to represent the consequences of her choices? Um, and the fallout from that previous romance? This man from her past that's come back to haunt her. It was so dramatic. I love the concept. I will never get over those costumes. Oh my goodness. I'm just so happy that La Fuerza is here. This is how we're doing it. Yes, Miss Christina! Osuna was an incredible choice. Like I hadn't really thought before she announced Santo with Osuna. I had never really thought that I wanted to hear Christina on a reggaeton track. But ooh, it's something I needed in my life, let me tell you. Ah, oh, this was amazing. I am going to have this on repeat all weekend. I pre-ordered La Fuerza, so it's gonna be downloaded and I'm gonna be replaying that. Y'all better stream her. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Send me more stuff to react to, and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!